I don't know who needs to hear this, but uh, life is as complicated as we make it. The whole question of why are we here should not cause you stress or be of an existential nature. It's, it's not a complicated reason. I think we all know why we're here. From adamant to inanimate objects, we are here to process the sun's energy. Now, um, maybe I should, maybe I should back up a little bit, all right, and yeah, okay, yeah, let me back up a little bit here and take it backwards here and, and, and say it like this. Um, every day, a statistic that I heard is that every day, something like the entire history of humanity's energy uh, output is produced by the sun and hits the the earth every day the entirety that we've ever had yet the earth is not a billion degrees we're not we're not another sun um, and that's because most of that energy is reflected back it's uh, mimicked or it's uh, you know it's transformed it's taken from thermal energy, from whichever version of radiation it is, has changed to motion, to sound, to thoughts, to clouds, to wind, to, to rain, to all the processes that happen here. And most of that is shed off the earth. So we are just here to process the sun's energy. And that should be a great relief because regardless of what religion you are, that fits. It's, it's all an interpretation of that, right? Like, that's the basic end. And then if you need something tighter, the more specific, something more beautiful, your religion can really help you, guide you uh, into your explanation and into making sure that you find purpose in it. But for me, understanding that it's not that big of a deal and it's that big of a deal, it's, it's, it's both, it's neither frees me to deal to pursue whatever it is that I want. And I think for myself in particular, that's the hardest part, is finally identifying, well, what is it that I would like to pursue, not what have I been uh, trained or uh, kind of, you know, prodded into wanting to pursue? Who, you know, what does this human being actually want to achieve? Um, and it's a little bit of a combination of the old me, uh, the new me that's being built, the, the healing me that is coming together, and, and some pragmatism, but more or less, it's a freeing thing, so don't, uh, don't take it too seriously, okay? We're just here to, to get some sunshine, <laughs> until we're done with that system, okay? And if you can kind of take a bit of advice from this is that since this is just a bunch of systems, we as human beings are lucky enough to be in society and we should be, you know, happy to enjoy it. And some of us want to get away from it. However, a single component of a system can change it, but typically the only way that's done is in a destructive fashion. So if you're not trying to destroy society, maybe what you can do is create systems for yourself to allow you to be free within society. Understand what society's rules are, and then go ahead and create systems that provide you the most amount of freedom in that, that system. And that's really what I've been working on and trying to do. Uh, for quite a while, I was trying to explain to everyone else that the world is one way or trying to show everyone, hey, I see this crazy thing, you know. And no one wanted to listen because they were playing their part. Um, and I was not busy enough uh, looking internally to play my part in that system. And so now that I am on a journey where I'm trying to understand that better, 
I'm gonna be, uh, you know, focusing a bit more on how do I make sure that the things that typically would have been my my weaknesses, I can put those into a system where those are my strengths. Or what are the things that I'm really good at? How can I put that in a formula so that way I don't have to compete on that area over and over again? That's really it. Um, so yeah, you know, meditate. Try to align yourself. Try to remember that uh, as a system of the uh, the sun, you know, that you, you need to be taken care of too. You need to get an input. To, you're not a full system, right? Like... So when when you're when you're when you're working on your healing, remember some of those uh, old wives' tales are true, uh, true pieces of wisdom. You are what you eat. What you put into your body is what literally your body has to process. Choose wisely how you process your body. Movement is life. I, I always say uh, dancing is the is a reason for existing. The raison d'être, but move be active uh if you want to align your spirit if you want to make sure that your thought processes are well aligned make sure that you are staying in good shape um it's a full system the whole thing works together we can't break things into their components and say i'm gonna do this thing and it's gonna improve me overall sure you can when you're making a specific project but overall you have to live life in totality all right, this is the Buffalo Ranger signing out on another uh, lunch break, walk, meditation. Um, hopefully you got a little bit of fun out of that little uh, thinking. Ciao.